Here is another example to use the basic trigonometric ratios in our applications, right? These are all real life applications. Now here the problem is find the length of a ramp designed to load heavy drums into a trailer 120 centimeter from the warehouse floor if the angle of inclination of the ramp is 20 degrees. Okay, so basically it says that we have to design a ramp let's say like this so ramp will go up that's the ground and let's say from here at an angle of 20 degrees so that angle is 20 degrees for us and uh, find the length of the ramp designed to load heavy drums into the trailer 120 centimeter from the warehouse floor if the angle of inclination is this so so from, from the floor, the height is 120 centimeter. So right here, 120 centimeter, right? And that's, that's how it is. So in this case, so to make it very clear, heavy drops into the trailer 120 centimeter high. Let me write the word high here from the warehouse floor okay so the height is given to us as 120 centimeter right from the floor see it's very difficult to lift the drums and put them in so with the floor you can roll them correct so that's the whole idea now you have to find the length of the ramp so this is unknown so let the length of the ramp be x correct i'm not writing all those statements here because i'm trying to explain you the concept so first statement you should definitely make a diagram like I've made one for you and then define the variable. So it says find the length of the ramp. So you say let the length of the ramp be x. Correct. Now this is what we need to find. And what we know is the angle and the opposite side. So if you know opposite and you want to find hypotenuse, what should you use? So cut to a sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, sine is perfect. So, we should surely use sine theta. So here the trick is, these are basic problems. You need to understand which, ident which function to use. So sine function works perfectly for us. So sine of 20 degrees should be equal to opposite side, which is 120, right? Over hypotenuse, which is x. Done. And so, x is equal to? 120 divided by sine of 20 degrees. Correct? Now, to find this value, we can always use calculator. So, it's, so let's clear it and we say 120 degrees, 120 divided by sine of 20 degrees, which gives us 350.8565. Correct. Now, depending on the accuracy required, you know, we can use the units. Now, since it is already in centimeter, which is a very small unit, I think 351 should be a good enough approximation to the whole number. Uh, if you remember, accuracy is also dependent on the data given. Here, see, the data is like 120, right? So, for that, 351 is good enough result. We are not saying 120.5, 6, something like that, right? So we can round it to the whole number. So we say, now we should write down the answer in words that the length of the ramp should be 351 centimeter to load heavy drums into the trailer 120 centimeter high. Correct? Okay. Thank you.